A couple months ago, I turned 28 years old while on a trip to Norway with my Australian friend Tavis, who I met last year in California while living in my car. It's a sentence I had never thought I would ever say. Okay, so it's day one here in Norway. We got Tav, yeah. Travis, Tav. That's Travis without an R. Travis without an R. Uh, and we got myself, Michael, also without an R. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we arrived yesterday after I took three flights and it was like 20 plus hours of travel. So Tavis is from this far land called Australia. Uh, you might have heard of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 40 hours? Yeah, together? transit 40 hours, about 28 in flight time. Yeah, so basically I have nothing to complain about in comparison. We're just driving on this road right now and there's just insane views around every corner. There's waterfalls cascading down all the rock faces here. There's these low clouds in the back and uh, we've basically just been saying wow around every corner so far. I've oh, no, wait, wait, That's actually not even fake. <laughs> that is legit. Look at this. Now I know what you might be thinking. 28 is not very significant when it comes to birthdays. And you're right, but I'm making this video for two reasons. First, it's not every day you get to celebrate your birthday in such an epic place. So I just wanted to document it to have something cool to look back on later. I mean, take a look at where I was. Is there a cooler location to celebrate your birthday? I'm really not sure there is. I mean, there probably is, but to me it was pretty insane. Okay, so today is literally my birthday. I am turning 28 today here in Norway, which is a pretty special experience. Yesterday was literally just one of the craziest all-time days I've ever had, I think. We started the day with a hike up a mountain, got insane light rays. We got a double rainbow on one side. Rain came through multiple times. It was just one of the craziest mornings ever. Then we hiked down, did another sunset hike and drove over to this area, which this by the way, is a pretty famous soccer pitch behind me. And we spent the morning droning here, got some really cool shots. And it was actually pretty cool because it sort of combines my two passions, like my two lifelong passions of soccer and photography. So I've wanted to come to this pitch for a while and I got to kick around, do a little freestyle soccer on it and just the perfect way to start my birthday here. But I'm forgetting actually the craziest part of the whole thing was last night on the way here, it was like a six hour drive to get over here and we're going along, we're pretty tired. I was actually asleep, Tavis was driving and he kind of wakes me up and he looks out the window and he's like, dude, is that what I think it is in the sky? And we look and it was literally the Northern Lights just going crazy in the sky. So we immediately pulled over, got out and it was like the brightest Northern Lights I've ever seen. Like I've seen the Northern Lights in Iceland, I've seen the Southern Lights in New Zealand, but these ones were next level, just dancing around the sky. Like Tavis even got a video on his iPhone where you could see them. I got a couple snaps on my iPhone uh, tried to get the camera out, but it was tough because we were on the side of the road, but it was still just like an incredible experience. So I literally turned 28 uh, under the Northern Lights here in Norway last night. Man, my 29th birthday is going to be really lame in comparison, isn't it? Second, while not specific to 28, there's been a few things that have happened lately that have reminded me that I am getting old. Not that 28 is old, but there's definitely signs starting to show that I am no longer a young whippersnapper. For example, the fact that I just used the phrase young whippersnapper 
major sign that I am no longer young and cool. Because of this, I've been doing a lot of thinking recently into this concept of recognizing that you are aging, essentially. And I've come up with an insanely cool name to describe this. Are you ready? It's called the Cloak of Invincibility. Super cool, right? Just kidding, I know it's a lame name, but it's just a concept, okay? And essentially, this made up thing that I made up means this. Look at you. When you're young, you basically think that you are invincible. Your cloak of invincibility is at 100%. You literally have no idea that if you do something stupid, you could die. And then as you get older, you slowly start to get smarter and more calculated as you realize that you are in fact not invincible. <sighs> Crazy, I know. <laughs> but this usually comes in stages. So in your early 20s, for example, you still kind of feel invincible in terms of your body's health and staying injury free. But at some point in your mid to late 20s, what often happens, let's just pick a random number, random age for an example here, like, I don't know, 28, something can happen that makes you realize that all of those old people complaining about aches and pains or, you know, having a bad knee, they're not just making this stuff up. Before going to Norway, I started to have some major knee pain for the first time in my life. Everything hurts, but we made it. And while in Norway, it really started to flare up and get quite painful. It didn't stop me from doing anything that I wanted to do, but I definitely had to take it very slow on some of the hikes, especially on the way down, and was just in a lot of pain for some of the trip. The way I see it, you have two options here at how to look at this. Option one is you say, wow, I'm getting old. This is gonna be a more regular occurrence and eventually many years down the line, it's gonna get worse and worse until eventually I die. That is the very pessimistic approach. Or the second option is from an optimist point of view and that is, again, wow, I'm getting older, but what that means is that time is actually very precious and this should serve as a really good reminder that you need to be present and enjoy the time that you have left every single day of this life we have. Here's Tab. <laughs> There's no denying growing older is a weird feeling. In a lot of ways, it feels like time just flies by. It actually hurts my brain to think that I turned 18 a full decade ago. But on the other hand, if I actually really think about every day in that period and all of the experiences I've had since then, it kind of feels like an eternity. I think inherently we all know that our time here is limited, but we often choose not to acknowledge that fact. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day tasks and forget how amazing it is that you're able to walk outside breathe fresh air, go on a hike, hang out with friends, or whatever it is you do that brings you joy. And I think every once in a while, it's important to have a reminder to be conscious and grateful for these moments, even if it comes in the form of intense pain in your knee. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this, where I just talk about all sorts of weird concepts that happen inside of my brain. <laughs> so I think I killed that pitch, right? Like that sounds great. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, jokes aside, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who have supported my videos and the channel so far. And with that, I will see you in the next one.